Flight 10 is approaching, and anticipation is building. More than anything, we hope that Starship will overcome every challenge ahead and achieve a successful mission. Among all the hurdles, re-entry remains the most difficult. It's during this intense phase that the heat shield, the armor of Starship, must prove its strength. To prepare for this, SpaceX appears to have made significant upgrades to the heat shield system. So what exactly has SpaceX changed? Let's explore the latest developments in today's episode of Great SpaceX. Starship has garnered immense anticipation this year, particularly when it comes to the performance of its second stage. Building on the promise shown during Flight 6, widely regarded as the most successful landing attempt to date, SpaceX then transitioned Starship to its version 2 configuration. This version introduced a host of critical upgrades that are expected to make the spacecraft more robust and complete than ever before. However, it is important to reflect on the journey so far. In most of the version 1 flights where we had the opportunity to witness re-entry visually, the heat shield system failed to perform as effectively as expected. This resulted in damage to the spacecraft during the intense conditions of atmospheric re-entry. On the other hand, the newer V-2 flights conducted this year have not progressed far enough into the mission profiles to test re-entry thoroughly, often due to loss of control before that stage could be reached. As a result, many of the intended improvements remain unproven in real flight conditions. This is why expectations for Flight 10 are higher than ever. With the recent upgrades to Starship's protective heat shield system, sometimes referred to as the spacecraft's armor, there is renewed hope that these enhancements will finally prove themselves during the re-entry phase. Recent imagery of Ship 37, currently stationed in Megabay 2 for final checks and installations ahead of its static fire test, has given us a glimpse into these new developments. One of the most noticeable changes is in the aft section of the vehicle, where the heat shield tiles now display small white circular markings. These distinctive features were not seen in previous prototypes and likely represent targeted reinforcements aimed at boosting the durability of the tile system in areas most susceptible to high thermal stress. Although a complete view of Ship 37 is not yet available due to its positioning deep within Megabay 2, we do have a clearer look at S38, which may share many of the same features. On 38, a notably striking improvement is the clear visibility of white lines running between the tiles. These lines suggest that SpaceX has significantly reinforced the adhesion or sealant used between tiles, perhaps employing a stronger bonding agent or filler material. Interestingly, this change first appeared on Ship 36 and seems to be continuing as a standard design feature in later builds. We hope to receive a more detailed explanation from SpaceX in their pre-flight update, but the implications are already clear. These enhancements are focused on minimizing tile displacement and reducing the likelihood of heat leaks during re-entry. In addition to these changes, SpaceX will likely retain several upgrades introduced in earlier flights that have yet to be fully tested. One such modification involves smoothing and tapering the edges of the tile lines across the entire surface of the ship. This design choice was made in response to hotspots observed during re-entry phases in previous flights. It's plausible that this adjustment is related to the white seams now seen between tiles as both aim to create a more heat-resilient exterior. Another area receiving attention is the underlying structure beneath the tiles, including components with ablative properties designed to absorb and dissipate heat. Last year, Musk remarked that these upgrades could potentially double the strength of the heat shield system. While the idea of abandoning tiles entirely in favor of a more integrated system may still be far off, these iterative changes are laying the foundation for that future. Among all the recent advancements, the introduction of metallic heat shield tiles stand out as the most revolutionary. SpaceX has confirmed that several of these tiles, believed to be made of stainless steel, the same material used to construct the body of Starship, have been installed in place of traditional ceramic. These metallic tiles are part of an experimental approach that includes an active cooling system. SpaceX has described them as an alternative method for protecting Starship during re-entry, one that could eventually become the standard. The decision to use metal instead of ceramic stems from multiple advantages. While ceramic does offer superior heat resistance in general, stainless steel brings a balance of durability, thermal tolerance, and manufacturability. Its structural strength and ease of fabrication make it ideal for large-scale cost-conscious applications like Starship. Perhaps most importantly, stainless steel is far more economical to produce compared to ceramics. Since lowering costs is a central goal of the Starship program, using cheaper materials without sacrificing reliability is a major win for scalability. The metallic heat shield represents one of the most promising advancements in Starship's development. Unlike ceramic tiles, which require meticulous inspection after every single flight, 
Metallic tiles offer a pathway to long-term reusability with significantly reduced maintenance demands. According to SpaceX, these metallic shields could potentially withstand up to 50 flights without needing extensive refurbishment or repair work. This capability marks a major shift in operational efficiency and sustainability, especially when compared to the labor-intensive process of maintaining ceramic tile systems. Ceramic heat shields, as used on the current Starship configuration, involve at least 18,000 individual tiles. Beneath these tiles lie complex and delicate systems that must function flawlessly under intense heat and pressure. After each flight, the SpaceX team must examine every single tile for damage or looseness, which is both time-consuming and costly. In addition, the risk of human error increases when such a vast number of components are involved. Even a single missed crack or loose tile could lead to a catastrophic failure during re-entry. Metallic heat shields mitigate many of these concerns. With their enhanced durability and fewer weak points, the need for detailed post-flight inspections is drastically reduced. This, in turn, allows for a much faster turnaround between flights, which is essential for SpaceX's long-term goals. Missions that require frequent and rapid deployments, such as Earth-to-Earth -Earth transport or coordinated launches within narrow Mars windows, stand to benefit greatly from such a system. Reduced maintenance means lower costs and more opportunities for flight, bringing SpaceX closer to its vision of making space travel as routine as air travel. To understand the full advantage, we must consider the fundamental properties of these materials. Stainless steel, while not as heat-resistant as ceramics, excels in durability. Unlike ceramics, which are brittle and prone to shattering under stress, metals can flex and absorb force without cracking. Moreover, metals are excellent conductors of heat, which opens the door to innovative thermal management techniques. SpaceX aims to use Starship's own onboard propellants, liquid methane and liquid oxygen, as active cooling agents during re-entry. As the metal tiles heat up, these supercooled fuels can be routed beneath them to absorb the thermal load. Once heated, the propellant transitions back into a gas and can be fed into the engines for combustion. This approach not only protects the spacecraft, but also maximizes efficiency by avoiding waste and reusing fuel within the system. Another lesser-known advantage of stainless steel is its ability to become stronger under extreme temperatures. According to material studies, when stainless steel is exposed to the high heat of re-entry, it can undergo a crystallization process that actually enhances its strength. This runs contrary to common assumptions that stainless steel will weaken or burn at high temperatures. Instead, it may become more resilient, making it an even more attractive candidate for heat shield applications. That said, the system is not without its challenges. SpaceX has acknowledged the need for further testing and refinement. In previous flight updates, the company stated that it had removed a significant number of heat shield tiles on Starship. Officially, the purpose was to stress test vulnerable areas across the vehicle during re-entry. But it is likely that this also served as a testbed for validating stainless steel's performance in exposed conditions. By deliberately leaving areas uncovered, engineers can better understand how the underlying structure behaves during peak heating events. However, one of the current limitations of metallic tiles is the difficulty in detecting damage. While ceramic tiles often crack visibly, providing a clear indication of failure, metallic tiles may deform or weaken without obvious external signs. This subtlety makes early detection of issues more challenging. Worse yet, if a metallic tile does fail by melting or breaking, it could compromise adjacent systems due to the conductivity and spreading nature of the material. Addressing this risk is critical before metallic heat shields can be adopted on a broader scale. Despite these hurdles, SpaceX is continuing to install metallic tiles on select areas of upcoming starships to monitor their performance in real-world flight conditions. On the next flight, this system will once again be put to the test. To be considered successful, the heat shield must protect the ship during ascent, withstand the extreme conditions of orbital exposure, and most importantly, survive the violent forces of reentry with structural integrity intact for a safe ocean landing. So are you excited to see what the upgraded heat shield system can do? Respond in the comments section with try, then be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on what's going on in SpaceX's incredible development journey. The latest upgrades to Starship's heat shield represent far more than preparation for the next flight. They mark a turning point in SpaceX's pursuit of true reusability and mission endurance. If Flight 10 succeeds, this enhancement may soon be adopted across a wider portion of the vehicle, enabling broader comparisons between the existing ceramic tiles and the newly integrated metallic counterparts. The metallic heat shield is of distinct interest. With superior durability and a longer lifespan, it promises a future where minimal refurbishment is needed between flights. 
Unlike fragile ceramic tiles that demand constant inspection and replacement, metallic versions offer a tougher, more sustainable solution, potentially reducing maintenance time and improving mission cadence. The true challenge, however, lies beyond surviving re-entry. The goal is for the vehicle to complete a full orbital flight and return not to the ocean but directly to the launch site for a precision landing using the Mechazilla arms. This maneuver demands structural integrity, thermal resilience, and flawless vehicle control, qualities the heat shield must help ensure. If future flights involve payload deployments, the stakes rise even higher. The shield must protect both the vehicle and its cargo under extreme conditions, pushing performance standards to the limit. SpaceX has anticipated this, as shown by last year's test, where shield materials were exposed to flame temperatures equal to or exceeding those of actual reentry. Cracking was likely intentional, designed to explore the outer limits of material endurance and guide improvements. These upgrades also open the door to mission-specific heat shield configurations. Ceramic tiles may remain for lower orbit flights, while metallic variants could serve Mars-bound starships. Such modularity adds versatility to the fleet and allows SpaceX to fine-tune vehicles for destination-specific challenges. More than just hardware evolution, the upgraded heat shield reflects the steady transformation of Starship into a reliable, adaptable, and ambitious system. As the rocket's protective skin, it guards not only its structure, but also its mission, its cargo, and the vision it represents. Flight 10 will be the proving ground. Whether the system shines or shows weakness, the data gathered will refine future iterations. Each test pushes the boundaries of what's possible, inching SpaceX closer to making rapid, affordable, and far-reaching space travel a reality. This is how progress unfolds, not in a single leap, but through armor tested by fire, protecting a rocket built to carry humanity's dreams to new worlds and safely back again. This has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly on the latest milestones in SpaceX's journey. Thank you so much for watching and always remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will follow you so long as you keep looking up.